first off, I want to give all praises and glory to the Most High Yahweh in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Double honors unto the elders and apostles of GMS who taught me this truth. And salutations to all the brothers out there that's teaching this word in truth and sincerity. In peace, blessings, and healings unto the elect. And uh, today I'm about to do this video um, on the moon because it's supposed to be a strawberry, strawberry moon today. And, um, you know, I'm going to play this two minute 47 two minute 47 second video and uh yeah so the full the full strawberry moon rises on friday june 5th 2020 and that's today it will reach peak illumination at 3 12 p.m eastern time This full moon brings with it a, pu a puniburo eclipse. This eclipse will be visible from parts of Australia, Asia, Africa, and Europe. South America will not in South America but will not be visible from North America you know and that's spiritual the name strawberry moon comes from the ripening from a juicy summer fruit but you know that's that's all I want to get at this video and as you can see that's what it looks like it looks like a blood moon you know and um I'll get some scriptures. This is um, Genesis 10 and 14, I think. Uh, no, it's not it. Uh, signs. Moon signs. Genesis. I thought it was 10. 1 and 14. I'm tripping. Genesis 1 and 14. And Yahweh said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years. So the sun and moon are for signs. And, you know, blood moons are definitely like um, signs of like mad, massive bloods coming, you know. Yahweh is about to return, you know. And uh, this is Acts 20, Acts 2 and 20. No, Acts 2 and 17, I'll get it. And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith Yahweh, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and, your, sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. You know, just a testimony. You know, I've had a lot of dreams in this truth. I've had a lot of visions in this truth also. You know, I'll just say a couple. Um, you know, when I first came into the truth, you know, like a week before I was in the truth, I had a dream that um, nuclear nuclear missiles was falling on America. You know, and uh, they were, uh, I was in my room and uh, I heard some big loud noise like, <sighs> and uh, my mom and my sister was already outside uh, on the sidewalk. And so I walked outside and it was like, oh my God, oh my God because they saw this big ass like nuke about to hit Atlanta. And so um, I just walked out to my mom and my sister and I hugged them. And then uh, the nuke went off. I also had another dream that um, this this why I was in the truth. Uh, um, that uh, I was at my dad's house and uh, I was looking at him and his wife and uh, I looked outside and I saw the chariots in the sky. And I was looking at my dad and my mom. I was like, yo, I was screaming to them, but they wouldn't, they couldn't hear me. They was watching TV, but they wouldn't look at me. I was like, the chariots are here, the chariots are here. That means the nukes are about to fall. The nukes are about to fall. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I was scared, bro. I ran into the back room and, uh, you know, I heard the fire coming and shit. You know, then I woke up. 
another dream I had is I wasn't me. I was my best friend in the world. But it was like 10 years ago, you know, because I haven't talked to him for 10 years. So uh, like one of my friends, he was in a van where we used to uh, live at. You know what I'm saying? He was driving down the street. And um, he was he was running from something, you know, and uh, he had I think there was people in the car and some kids. So I think he had his kids with him. I don't know. All I know, he was in a van and uh, he was trying to run. He was trying to he was in the van going full speed down the road. And then uh, I seen a new kid in like a river or some shit like boom. And it blew up. And uh you know, it took him. You know, another dream I had is, uh, you know, I had this dream like two months ago. Uh, I was in Atlanta and uh, I looked in the sky and I saw, um, I saw Yahawashah come down in a cloud, in cloud form, but it wasn't, it wasn't, in a, he, he didn't come in a ship or nothing. He just, it was just his head. You know, his head came down out the sky. And then uh, it was floating in the sky, and then it like manifested into your house. He was a dark skinned man. He had a white beard, white white fro. You know, he looked like a black man. And uh, everybody on the street was running and all scared and shit. But he turned and looked at me, and lightning struck. You know, and I don't know if I got spiritual power or died. You know what I'm saying? But uh, you know. I was so scared, I put my head down. I was like, forgive me, how about you shot? Please forgive me. And, um, you know, after that, I lifted up my head, and your house, I was like 500 feet tall. You know what I'm saying? He was tall as hell, but he was, he, he was in cloud form again, but it, it, this time it was his whole body. You know what I'm saying? He was tall, real tall. You know, and, um, you know, those are the main dreams I've had in this truth. All four of those. You know, the ones that stuck that stick with me. You know. I've had a lot of visions and a lot of other dreams too, but you know, it's really not prevalent. But I'm gonna keep reading. And my servants and my handmaids, I will pour out my out in these days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy. And on my servants and on my handmaids, I will pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy. So, you know, this is happening. This is happening right now. You got the Israelites out there prophesying on the streets, on the highways and byways, and then you got them on the internet. You know, making videos every day, being diligent on fire. You know, they're telling you what's to come, and you know, only evil is coming. You know, it's it's your house is about to return. Uh, it's not going to be a good day. It's only going to be a good day for the elect and the multitude. The rest, you know, not not good. I can't spell word for shit, man. Prophets. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Jeremiah 28 and 8. This is uh, Jeremiah 28 and 8. And the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old both prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. And, you know, that's what the Israelites are doing on the highways and byways on the Internet. They're telling you that all these things are about to come, pestilences, World War Three, famine. You know, your house is about to return. Repent and get right. You know, you got to have faith. You got to believe. You know, because if you don't have those things, you're not going to be, you're not going to make it. You know. And, uh. And I will show wonders in heaven above and signs in the earth beneath blood and fire and vapor and smoke. You know, you got that with the earthquakes. You got that with the volcanoes that are going off. You know, um, it's bubbling up over there in the in the Yellowstone. They're talking about some super volcano. That's that's blood and fire, vapor, and smoke. You know, 
and the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and notable day of the Lord come. So, you know, before Yahusha returns, that's it's going to be eclipses. It's going to be blood moons. Just like I played the video at the beginning, the strawberry moon. Before the great and notable day of the Lord come, and it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of Yahweh Shai shall be saved. You know, and you got to know his name. You know, point blank period. And when Yahweh shall return, it's not going to be a... Um, you know, it's it's going to be a dark day. You know, like I said, if you're not a part of the elect, you know, uh, kiss your ass goodbye. This is Joel. I can just get it up here. Joel 2. That's not it. Not like... This is Amos 5 and 18. Uh, woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. You know. Shall not the day, and then I'll skip down to 20. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light? And this is a question. Even very dark and no brightness in it. You know. Because Yahweh Shemeshah is a, uh, he ain't playing. You know, this this America, these Edomites, you you wicked as your lights, your sins have reached up to heaven, and uh, he, he's not, he's not going to be a happy man when he returns. The slain of the Lord shall be many. This is Isaiah 66 and 16. For by fire and by his sword will Yahweh plead with all flesh, and the slain of Yahweh shall be many. They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens behind one tree in the mist, eating swine's flesh. Why does it say that? Because, you know, you're not, you're not supposed to eat pork, you know. And an abomination in the mouth shall be consumed together, saith the Lord. You know, so... You know, people gonna be consumed. You know, you you think because you, you eating pork, eating pork. Uh, you know, you are gonna be all right. You not not if you willingly doing it. Uh, what's that scripture? Tribes of the earth mourn. This is Matthew 24 and 30. Let me read up to 29, what should I say? Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon not give her light. And the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of heaven shall be shaken. It's talking about nukes falling. And then shall appear the sign of the son of man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And why does it say all the tribes of the earth mourn? Because it's not going to be a good day when you have a shot return. You know, the king is, the king is, come on, man, the king, man. Y'all have etched out your house in America. Y'all haven't followed his ways. He let y'all, he let, uh, Yahweh let y'all build up a case. And they going to set his son loose. And he, he gonna wreck shop when he come back. You know, Christianity is not the truth. Cause if it was, we'd be out of here by now. You know, this is only this truth is only for a few. The world's not gonna accept the Israelites. The world didn't accept Yahusha. You know, they crucified him. They're gonna try to crucify us. This devil gonna try to come after us. You know, uh, he know that he got a short time and that, the, and, that, and that our king's returning. So, double honors unto the elders and apostles of Jesus who taught me this truth and call Halal Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Raha Kodash.